How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Tazastico and we're back probably with one of my favourite games that you just sort of get lost in. We're going to do a new colony crash landed because I think that's the funnest. Uh, we're going to go randy random. We're not going to go with the hardest difficulty this time. We're going to go with blood and dust and I always love how they change what they call these like difficulty levels. We're going to do blood and dust. If we do well and complete it, we'll then go back to losing is fun. The only reason we're clicking reload anytime is because just in case something happens, it's just going to be a pain if I'm like recording and then it dies and you get it by now. We will of course go with the old Tazastical. Uh, do about 50%, I think that'll be absolutely fine and we'll leave everything as normal, generate, see how quickly my potato PC can get through this. There we go, I had to cut it like your nan cut your birthday cake just because potato PC, all that sort of stuff. So now we have to think about what we want to do. So it would be nice to have some mountains. Like I had uh, my series in the past where I had a mountain, had the perfect base planned out, cut through, and then it wasn't a mountain and it opened up into like a big area and it just broke my life. Um, not all round growing. However, it does have granite, which is nice because that's the toughest material. Granite and marble would be really sexy. Uh, could do shrubland. Be something a little bit different. Where is our... It doesn't seem like we've got year-round growing, but I suppose 10 days out of the year isn't terrible. And we've got an ally right next to us. Sandstone and marble. Not shocking. Granite slate. It's like marble. Granite slate. Like sandstone. It does have caves. Don't know if I want to... Um, don't know if that tickles my fancy too much or not enough. I have to admit, like, I spend ages on this screen sometimes just trying to look for like the best areas I'm sure we all do. I'm going to this totally blind, so I haven't really like planned out like beforehand where is like the ideal place. So we might not worry about getting the perfect stones this game and maybe just like play, test our luck, or that sort of thing. Could go large hills, but especially on the hardest difficulties. It's just really handy sort of having these mountainous areas. So yeah, I think I'd like this one. I know it's not all round growing, which is mer, but as long as we get our growing down quite quickly, no problem. Sandstone, so we can do whatever we want with. Granite and marble, because granite's the hardest, marble's the sexiest. I'm sure there's a pun there. Um, yeah, we are close to obviously the skull, the bad of the bones. Don't even know what I was trying to say there. But we're quite close to an ally. So I think we'll give this. And Temperate Forest is sort of the the cooly one. Um, I will make the map size just one smaller. So here we go into the sexy part where we can find our colonists. We want our first three colonists to be able to do all the nitty gritty stuff. The fun stuff. Uh, Psychically dull isn't terrible. Melee. The problem is, is we just want someone... A pyromaniac. Absolutely no way. <laughs> I thought that was a really good person there. Really, we want people that haven't got health issues. Like, yeah, it was nearly tasty. It was nearly tasty. Dirty poor purists. That's absolutely fine. Avoids drugs. Will plant. Do animals. Not like that. Don't be dirty. This is PG 12 channel. I don't know. Super immune, nimble, ugly. What does ugly do? A minus one beauty. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Can construct, can shoot, can do a few other sexy things. Ah, no. Negatives. Just making sure you didn't. Can't dumb labour. So what have we got so far? We've got a constructor. We have got a healer to some degree. We've got plants. Okay, so we really need a cook now. Cook is our last thing. Oh, if only you didn't have Pyromaniac. I was thinking about doing like a cannibal run, but let's be honest, everyone's done it 50 million times. What they don't do is just play bog standard vanilla. 
RimWorld. And that's what you need in your life. That's what I need in my life. RimWorld's always the game that I either play non-stop or just like don't play at all. Oh, why did he have to have Pyromaniac? So I think what I'll do is if I don't hit this cooking, okay, cool man. I mean, that's not terrible. Okay, th th we could work with this, actually. I was just about to think to put a cut in, but we could actually work with this. While the cooking's not great, you've got a passion for it. So I think I'm happy. Mining is where we could run into any problems because obviously we're in a mountain range, but we don't know what the map is even going to look like. And what I know about RimWorld is planning ahead is just a bad, bad thing. Let's see what the map looks like and then worry about what we're going to do and stuff like that. I always think that's the best way to do it. Here we go. You've seen the message. You just want to see how sexy our map is. Let's pause it. Allow them. Okay, so looking around, we don't have a great natural choke point. Oh, I mean, we're going to probably have to make this work. My only negative is that, obviously, if we get uh, sappers, they'll just come straight through that. And what I've learned through previous games is having a mental size kill box is just asking for trouble. Because we could come in here, wall that off think it's safer just to come in here it's a shame because there is a geyser right there which would have been even more tasty the thing is eventually we'll push out to there and i suppose initially we're not going to be using it anyway so i suppose don't worry about it yet worry about it when the time comes just walking across the map just allowing everything i always wondered why these survival mills were just like randomly placed like a chef just wanders the abyss making meals and just like leaving them around. A lamb dinner? I think I will. Okay, I think we're set there. See, I always miss stuff. I don't know how I do it. Ugh. But whenever I first start, I go around the map, look, and allow everything and then just miss it. Don't say I'm a fool. I'm not a fool. I'm Tazastical. <laughs> I was trying to actually be funny then. Okay, the first thing to do that I always don't do is equip everyone. I normally don't do it because I just want to get straight into the game, like building, setting up what everyone wants to do. And then like a raid hits you like straight away and you're like, um, oh, that's why you equipped guns. Yeah, I know you can, like, highlight them all together. I just... I think I... I appreciate the the ambiance of, like, clicking them one by one. So there we go. I won't worry too much about work schedules. Um, saying that, it'd be really cool. You plant cart, you don't plant cart. You construct, so at least we've got two constructors. Um, you be the cook, you come off cooking. And we're going to leave it like that just for the time being. We will manually do it eventually. But I just want to see what everyone's sort of doing, what they're up to. So, we'll put, yeah, I, I really like our base to be down here. And we have got a lot of mountain to work with, to be fair. Saying that, another good shout is down here. Which I actually think I'm going to change my mind. Because it's going to be a little bit easier to put a kill box straight across here. Well, we can still do it here. But we do have a geyser there. So we could initially, if we go into planning. We could initially get our key kill box here. Just one layer. And then obviously we can push out eventually. But I like that as an initial base. That's what I'm thinking. So we're going to put our stockpile probably there. We don't need something absolutely huge just for the time being. We'll put a dumping zone just there. Hasn't got to be mental. And to be fair, we can actually 
We won't go crazy growing just for the time being. If we do rice, rice, and we probably want rice, rice, baby. That's that's what popped to my mind. It popped to yours. Don't lie. Don't be like, oh no, you're just being sick. You know it popped to your mind and you loved it. And a corn. So rice obviously grows the quickest, but you get the least yield from it. Corn takes a little bit longer, but you get a bit of the tasty, tasty with it. So I think that's a good combination. Um, actually, hill root is always good to get down like straight away. So we'll just have a four by four because we can do that straight away. Okay, so if I unpause it, they will straight away start hauling, which is nice start growing we also want to get some where is the button it's been a couple of months to be fair i think the last time i played rim world was in like december and we want to get some of this cutting down and i think we're happy to unpause it obviously we'll have to get some mining done um let's just make sure everyone probably come off constructing I mean, you're only constructing if you're not your hauling. I'm fine with that. You're cooking, plant cutting, loving that. What is your growing? It's only two. To be fair, put you on plant cutting because you're going to grow a mine before all that anyway. And here we go. So comment down below what episodes you think I'm going to die in. <laughs> Let's get the positivity Pumping through the veins. No, I love Rimworld. I just think every time you play it, no matter how you play it, the stories that it creates is so fun. And I'm so happy that Mick, Lewis and Van are here to join us in another story. Like, it's going to be good. We're going to, I'm going to take it a little bit more serious. I'm in the past. So I've always taken it serious, but I play games to have fun, not to win, which blows people's minds i know but you know it's all about having a good time and i like creating the stories you know mick is going to take the mick lewis is going to be lou and van is a car a vehicle so i don't even know what i was trying to make the point of so we have got a little bit of wood uh what button was it to i can't remember even what one it is there we go just so then we can move all that Nice, nice, nice. Growing is already being done, which is absolutely great. I've had problems in the past where I haven't got growing zones up quick, and that's come to like bite me in the bottom. It would be really nice if we can get a structure up on day one. We will just pause to the lowest thing, because what we're probably going to want initially is just a room for the three champions. So we're going to want something like a bed there, and then that will be a side table. A bed there. No, it's going to do my head in. I don't want to have to mine or anything. So we could do... Oh, why did I put that there? I should have probably put the... Beds. But if we build a room like this... Okay. Then bed there. Bed there. And then initially the bed can go there. We could probably then get away with putting a table. Could put a table here. One, two, three. And I think that's going to be our initial start. So let's get that going. And no, it's not the most sexiest of bases. I will give you that. Let's just hit the pause while I redo this. Whoops. But it's just something to get down. And that's what we have to worry about. Have we got any pets? Is it just the cat? Just the cat. That's fine. We need to be careful because there's a predator right next to it. That wog. The dirty wog will just kill him. Never really messed about too much with pets and animals on this game. Probably to my um, disadvantage. I don't know why, I just never really have. Like, I like RimWorlds, but I don't, I don't know. I get a bit too carried away doing stuff and then don't really learn more. Well, I think my basic understanding's not too bad. 
And I know you guys are going to love me in the comments and say, Jesus, I've never seen a player this efficient. I know what you're thinking, guys. I know what you're thinking before I think it, to the point where you think I'm in your cupboard under your stairs, watching you like a secret assassin, an FBI member. I've bugged your house. I know what you're saying. I'm coming to get you. Bit too far, bit too far. And there we go. It's all there. We do need a torch. Um, we could probably put that a bit more efficiently there. Just so it actually covers the whole of the room. Because they will get a modifier that they're in darkness. They'll whinge a bit. Um, we'll put some end tables. Make it look... Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Make it look really sexy. And they're going to be like... Absolutely just chuffed that they're here. If we put that there, then it gets the bonuses to all three beds, which is lovely. Then we can put the torch there. So it's sort of in the middle of the room. And I don't know if they'll be able to get that all done before. Not they go to bed, but at least the light's up. That's really good, so we won't get that boring modifier. And to be fair, I think this is a good day one. I think day one, if you can get a little stockpile going, get the beds up. Like, I think that's a really, really good point. What we're going to, well, I'm going to do a little bit more. And the thing is, when I'm playing and I'm recording it, it's sometimes hard to keep checking the needs and stuff because you don't want to be annoying. So eight without a table and an unsightly environment is our problem. Obviously, disturbed sleep, but we're always going to get that. Eight without a table is going to be removed because now we've got a table, so they're going to thank us. So probably our next protocol is roofing the stockpile, which is going to be... You know, easy peasy. Ta-da! So roofing that to make sure, like the steel not so much, but the wood and the mills, at least that's roofed so it's not going to deteriorate. Uh, kill box is always important. But we probably need to sort out our kitchen. So to be fair, we could just have our kitchen... Uh, let's plan it first, just in case the the boys and girls wake up. All right, we could have our kitchen here. Um, we could... That could be our little butcher room, because we want our butcher room separate from the kitchen. Because the butcher room is just going to make so much mess. So I wonder if that's the way to do it. Just to start with, I know it's not the most optimal thing in the world. But when you're just starting out, it doesn't need to be optimal. So fueled stove there. And then we put the butcher table in there. Um, furniture. My mum used to always tell me off, like, when I was a kid. Like, I don't know if you guys ever did it, but whenever I tried to cook, I tried to, like, bring in, like, a dining room chair. So I was cutting onions, sitting on a dining room chair, and she always used to shout at me. Okay, all that's done. We do need to chop some wood and make sure actually our resources aren't dwindling at all. That's a problem. You get too carried away with building everything and then not actually have the resources to do what you want. Uh, what's that made of? That's made of steel. So we're probably going to want to claim all that. Claim and then deconstruct it all. I don't actually think you have to claim it first. What we are going to do, because our pet is definitely going to be attacked, is we really want to make a new area, rename it Pets. So at least if it does get attacked, it's not across the world. Because the problem is, is then everyone's going to be miserable because their pet kept... Uh, their pet cat. They patted the cat and then it died. Jesus. Um... You know, if the cat dies, then... And Horus. We've got to keep Horus alive, like... Cats for life, am I right? I'm not a cat person. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a cat person. But we're going to keep Horus alive. Horus deserves the best. And then we'll get our kill box up. Now, like I said, so... I like to play semi-efficiently, but I know some people... 
comment like, my kill box is rubbish and oh I don't it's I I just play how I have fun. I'm all for backseat game and I'm all for tips and hints and stuff. But some things I'm just going to do and they're going to frustrate you. And I'm going to do it more. And I'm going to do it more. I'm going to do it to the point where you go to sleep and you think about my kill box. You think about my inefficiencies. And you think, oh my god, what is he doing? But you come back every time because this sexy voice brings you back. It grasps you into the night. So don't you forget that. Anyway, kill box. It's a basic one. But I like it. No, I want to put a door there. Door there. And door there. Uh, eventually, obviously, we'll put um, steel ones down. But to begin with, we just want to maim. So then we can take prisoners. Um, destroy that. Because I need the wood. I need it to come down, but that's absolutely fine like it is. Uh, then floor. We just want a bit of concrete, because we'll make this the fastest path. So the AI will come down there. The reason why I'm leaving two gaps there is because I found when I do this kill box design... Or when I've done it in the past, if I put a trap here, the AI will just naturally path over it, which is weird. Where if I put it two or three away, they will run through them all, which is weird. I don't know why, but I'm not really going to argue too much, to be honest. And we'll make sure we have a nice torture in here. Okay, it is raining. Luckily, we are inside. So let's mine that, because it's a nice bit of steel. Uh, Mick is taking the Mick and has nothing to do. Um... Well, I mean, we'll just put your more plant gun in, mate. Like, we're always going to need wood, so don't you worry about it. Like, we'll mine out this, make it... See, if we mine out there, then we can make it look nice and similar, and it won't want me to um, get agitated. So I hate when it's not like... I've got, like, OCDs when I have when I come to, like, base builders. Do you guys ever find that? Where everything has to look nice. Has to look similar. Oh, we haven't even set up. So we need to set up our butcher table. So butcher creature, yeah, just do it forever. Then in our field stove. Um, just simple meals is absolutely fine. Um, I want do until you have because I just find this is a better way to do it. So we got three people, so I think twelve meals and unpause at unpause at five. So unpause at about halfway. That's fine. Have we got someone hunting? Mick is. Mick, are you a shooter? No. So why would you be? Lewis needs to do the hunting. Nice. And we'll hunt a few creatures, and then at least then we've got some cooking going. Alpacas is dangerous meat. Dangerous meat type. So two bucks, I think, is going to be absolutely lovely. And yeah, we will, or oh, we should really be on a faster speed than this. And yeah, then we need to really get our fridge up and get some power. But I, I think this is solid. It's a solid start. And then obviously we need to be putting wooden floor in to make everything looking nice, making everything looking sexy. Just making everything looking tight. That just sounds so cringe. I'm trying to make it work for the channel. <laughs> for the channel. <laughs> if, we, if we don't get this word to work, guys, we're just, we're just failing. <laughs> you got to stand out. And sometimes when you stand out, you have to be cringe. You have to live in the cringe. Be the cringe. Know the cringe. Uh, we have some visitors, and they do have some stuff to trade. Where well, we only have gold. I'm not really going to wake up anyone to do it. Uh, Mick is our man, so I'll wait until he's woken up naturally. Just to make sure he's fully rested and everything. 
They're going to have enough things to be miserable about. I don't need to help them. I just love the music in the background. What I really like is when people play the guitars and stuff like that. I really like the noise like acoustic guitars make when like people's natural fingers are against them. You know that like little squeak or squeal? I really, really like that. I tried to learn guitar ages and ages ago. I think I'm just far too lazy for it. We will buy your herbal medicine. Um, we could buy some beer from you. Let's buy... 15 beer. Alright, let's make sure we can never do hauling. The reason why we're going to buy beer, we're probably going to try... My microphone... Excuse, excuse me? Thank you. Just like, trying to run away from me. Uh, I think we're going to try and making beer. I've never made it before, so I'm going to have to sort of read how to do it, but I really like the idea of having some drugs. Uh, no, I don't want anyone to use drugs. Yeah, sorry, I really like the idea of having drugs for when people have low mood. No drugs. No drugs. No drugs. We are going to change that. But yeah, sorry. I really like the idea of having drugs. So if people are in a low mood, they will hopefully go do the drugs over having a breakdown. And I think we need to, because in the past we have so many breakdowns. It's actually a bit redonkulous. Uh, oh, they gave us some gold. Because we have gold, gold. Um, no, don't allow fresh, but you can allow fresh in this stockpile. Uh, corpses, animal corpses. And that stockpile will get bigger. I don't think we'll get sappers straight away, but that is, uh, going to be a real weak spot in here. But I think it's going to be the point of researching gun turrets fairly quickly, just to make sure we're secure and tasty. But, you know, we've got a simple food production up. Can't really ask for much more than that, to be honest. Yeah, you can ask for a lot more, but then you'd just be greedy. And you don't want to be needy, greedy baby. Where's that from? Greedy baby. Needy baby, greedy baby. I can't remember where that's from. Yes, sometimes I lose the plot when I'm playing these games. <laughs> Not today. So I think that's going to be a nice starter for the first episode. I normally record these back to back. They'll be going up every weekend. So if you do want to drop any hints and tips, be aware that they are back to back and stuff. And I appreciate for you joining us for this journey on this rim world. If you got to this point of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye. Man, I'm good at this game. <laughs>